everyone in this video i will talk about how can we perform risk analysis of publicly listed stock using python so let's go to jupyter notebook so these are the required packages which we need to import one is pandas numpy yahoo finance and one is plotting library which is matplotlib so once these are imported next thing we need to do is we need to download the data so in this particular demo i am taking microsoft and tesla as two stocks and this is the duration i'm going to analyze so i'm taking data from january 1st 2018 to february 1st 2022 so this will have the entire data set which is downloaded for these two stocks for this given duration now we are performing analysis based on the closing price of the stock so that's the reason i am taking the close columns value into a different variable so we i'm creating a copy of my original data and this is how the initial five rows look like now next thing what i'm doing is i'm plotting this data so you can go for any kind of plot i'm going for classic one and here you can see that how price closing price was in 2018 and how much price it has reached by 2022 so the fluctuation you can see here and you can see it was close to like below 150 and now it is trending about thousand so this plot is just to give you an idea how the price variation was happening in last few years okay now next thing is what we need to do is we need to calculate how much percent change was there how much change was there in the price with respect to daily data so for that i'm calling this particular function pct change and it will give you the difference between the previous records so and in this you can see there are few values which are like nan which means there was no data available for a particular day and it could be due to any reason maybe there was this particular date was not a trading day or the trade didn't happen so we need to get rid of all these nan values so for that we i'm calling the function drop na on my percent change and then i'm taking everything into a variable called data so this is how it looks like okay now next thing what i need to do is uh, in order to find how much value was changed and to perform the risk analysis we need to consider two different factors mean and the standard deviation so standard deviation will tell us how much is the deviation between historical figure figures of any given stock and the mean value will tell you the average stock price for the duration so here i am you can click on this particular thing and see maybe i can get it printed so let me comment this out and let me show you okay so here you can see that it is showing all these mean max value 25 percentile at 50 percentile and the count so these are all the values which we can generate using the describe but we are interested only in mean and standard so that's the reason i was doing this particular line so rather than getting everything we will just get mean and standard deviation now once we receive this these two values these are the value for a particular given day but we need to analyze for the entire year so this is the approximate so in a year it's like 251 or 252 working days or i could say trading days so that's why i'm multiplying my mean and the standard deviation with this particular value so finally we need to work on these two values which comes after multiplying them by 251 now i'm going to plot these two values using this plot scatter so x-axis would represent standard deviation and y would represent mean as you can see over here now that this particular these two lines these are doing nothing more than annotating it so if you will not do this for loop then you will just get two dots and it would be very difficult to identify which dot is representing what so these two lines are just annotating it okay now what this figure is saying so you can see that the mean and the standard deviation for microsoft is here and for tesla it is here and comparison wise if you will see it's quite high 
it means there was so much of deviation in the price of tesla since 2018 as well as the average price is also quite high as compared to microsoft so here we can see that there was so much of volatility let's have a look so you can see here that there are a lot many ups and downs so it means there was so many there were so many deviations here so this particular value is saying that we are on very high end of deviation as well as on very high end of mean it means if you would have invested in 2018 and by 2022 you would have got quite a good amount for tesla but with a very high risk so here you can say that if deviation is pretty high mean is high it means we can earn more profit with very high risk but if you will talk about microsoft here risk is very low because there are very less deviations as well as mean so i hope you enjoyed watching this short video and thanks for watching